Hi, I'm Alex Villaforte, and I'd like to share a case of a patient with granulomatosis with polyangiitis, or GPA. This is a 38-year-old male that presented with a dry cough, shortness of breath, inflammatory polyarthritis, a rash, chronic sinus congestion and pain, ear pain, and hearing loss. His sinus CT showed pan-sinusitis, exam by ENT revealed otitis media, had an audiologic test that showed mixed hearing loss, and labs showed an elevated sedimentation rate, C-reactive protein, and a positive PR3 ANCA test. Biopsy of the rash showed leukocytoclastic vasculitis. He had a normal chest CT, and the diagnosis of GPA was established with sinus, ears, skin, and joint involvement. He received induction therapy with cyclophosphamide and prednisone, and all symptoms resolved, except for shortness of breath. He came for a second opinion at the Cleveland Clinic for this persistent shortness of breath, and our evaluation showed normal echocardiogram, a pulmonary function test showed obstruction without bronchodilator response, and a chest CT showed mild diffuse tracheal wall thickening without stenosis of the airways. We had a bronchoscopy done here that showed 40% stenosis of the subglottic area and 70% stenosis of the left main stain bronchus. And these pictures illustrate the stenosis in the trachea and left main stain bronchus. And he was treated with local injection of Depomedrol. After treatment, the shortness of breath completely resolved. So the key point in this case is not to forget that subglottic and bronchial stenosis are important causes of persistent shortness of breath and cough in GPA patients despite systemic therapy, and that therapy with local corticosteroid injection and dilation is usually necessary in addition to systemic therapy. Thank you for listening.